What is up, YouTube? How you guys doing today? It is me, Ken and Miko, aka Ocean Crash. And today, beautiful people, boys and girls, today I want to talk to you guys about why I use Simple Bank. Why I love the bank called Simple Bank. It's such a beautiful place, man. I love it. Uh, it's such a good website, such a good banking system. Um, it's just, so, it's just so good. I love it. Um, what's great about it is that I work. I have it with my brother. Um, that's pretty good too. We have separate accounts, but um, over the years, I've gotten my brother and my friends to do it. So it's kind of also got a built-in Venmo system where I can just automatically send money to friends and family that have a simple account. If you don't have a simple account, it takes like two days instead of instantaneous. So that's pretty cool. It's an instantaneous transfer. It shows up in their account within seconds. There's a bunch of reasons why I like it. The first one is their app is just organized. It's pretty organized. I love it. Um, the second reason is because they have a pretty intuitive budgeting system. Um, it's pretty sick on how you can control like how your money works and how it spends and just kind of like all around the organization behind it. And a lot of it's automated too. So it's pretty cool. Um, and then they have a pretty, uh, and the way the budgeting works is the, the, uh, as you get paid, um, they automatically either take, the, so they recently added, you can get it taken out by paycheck or you can get it taken out daily, weekly, or monthly. So for example, I get paid bi-weekly. If I wanted to get paid, pulled out bi-weekly, I can do that. So that once after you kind of figure out the plan set up behind that, um, you can kind of just like organize it in terms of, all right, I want, you can have multiple, as many as you want. I don't, I don't, I don't even know if there's a limit. There could be a limit, but um, you can set up your simple account. I'd show you guys, but I don't want my personal information being displayed and I don't know how to pull up a dummy account. I might play a video of the simple, simple app over this. Um, but you can put up like rent and groceries. You can put up your, like your rented mortgage, you can do groceries, you can do phone and electricity and a bunch of other things. And you can organize it pretty awesome. The way I did it was every two weeks and I set it up on my payday every two weeks. Um, I would have half of my monthly subscription services pulled out. So my Adobe creative cloud would be pulled out half of that. So say it's I think it's 53 now. I had a Black Friday sale. Now it's on full price, 53, 54 bucks a month. Half of that was pulled out um, every two weeks. Um, so that one month came, the full 100% was pulled out. T-Mobile, I paid for the T-Mobile bill in my family. Half of that was pulled out. That that I did took care of that as well. So I, I, I just kind of divvied it up. Half of all my subscription services, I put that there. And then I set um, $200 on the side at the time for gas. I did my 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 uh, my monthly expenses, and then um, I had a I had a bill I had um, other things you can set aside, um, like other accounts. So the expenses they automatically get spent. So like, you can you can tell the account, hey, this is my subscription fund. This is what charges me electricity. This is my phone bill, and it'll automatically th throw that money back into your your account once the bill gets charged. So basically, it's like it's like, hey, we, we held it on the side for you, but now that it's due today, we're throwing it back in your account as if you paid it, basically. So it's pretty awesome in the sense of it's pretty smart and intuitive. It's a pretty smart banking system. I'm not gonna lie. Um, there's only one that I think would be close to simple, to be honest with you, and that's Capital, the one with the Q. Um, I think I have an account with them as well, but I just don't. I haven't ever moved forward with it. Um, and then what's pretty cool also besides that, they have their savings accounts which they have a savings account which gives you i believe 2.02 um it's 1.75 percent annual per year um so um apy they have that they have that uh 1.75 percent i thought it was 2.02 they may have lowered it um but yeah so they have that and then they also have goals so on top of your savings account what your, what your goals are like separate accounts like savings accounts but on top of that, you have goals. So for example, before one of my goals was open up a coffee shop. Um, and what I did was every paycheck I was getting, I was having them take out, I was every every two weeks, I took out 500 bucks from my paycheck and I threw it towards that goal. So every month it would be total to a thousand. And um, I had multiple goals. I had moved into, uh, I had, uh, moved into a house. So I was saving up money for an investment property. 
I had uh, before um, coffee shop. I had one before save money for um, future children's uh, college fund. Um, I had one for an engagement ring. I had a bunch. Um, so all those goals would come in and every month I would just pull money, pull money, pull money. And, um, and it's pretty awesome. Um, at the time, I didn't use the savings account. Um, actually, no, I did. I lied. My savings account was my emergency fund. So I would throw, I think I had 5000 5, in there. I would throw that in my savings account and it would just grow. And it, it's pretty awesome. Um, I love the way the, the, the way it's customizable and the way it's quick and it's clean. It's a pretty great account. Um, and not just that, but there's the, the way they organize it is so it, it takes your available balance in your account and then it subtracts um, how much money you have set aside because it'll tell you basically your total balance. Your total balance is all the money in your account, including your, your, your some money on the side, your budgeted, it's called the, what they call available balance. They have all of that there, and then they, they take available balance and they create two different numbers, which is basic simple math. You have protected goals, which is basically anything that you say, hey, whatever you do, don't touch this account. You can add like a little lock onto your goals and your expenses. Like it'll say like, this is protected, don't touch it. So it'll have that there. And then what it'll do from the available balance, it'll subtract protected goals and it'll subtract all your goals and it'll subtract all your expenses. So this is all the money you've set aside. And then it'll create something called safe to spend. And your safe to spend is basically money that you just your your okay to spend so why this is nice is you can basically create goals and expenses for everything i only want to spend 100 bucks a month on fast food i only want to spend 50 bucks a month on this 100 bucks and you budget it and every paycheck you take half of that money or you take all of that money you throw it into the account you're safe to spend for that month next next uh next paycheck comes in you're, you put in the other half or that those accounts are already full. It goes straight to your to your safe to spend your available balance, which ends up adding to your safe to spend. So it's pretty cool. It basically tells you, hey, you have these budgets set up. You have all of these funds and goals set up. You don't have enough money to go out shopping. You don't have enough money to hang out with the boys or the ladies tonight. This is only what you got. You're allowed to spend. And it kind of tells you like it, it make it. I'll be honest with you. And my brother, if he was here, he'd vouch for me. It makes you feel like there are days I've logged in into my account and I'm like, I only have 12 bucks in my account. And then I'll look, I'll be like, oh no, that's safe to spend. It scared me. I was like, where'd all my money go? <laughs> and then I'll be like, oh, they're all in goals. They're all in expenses. They're all in protected accounts. They're all there. I didn't lose all my money. It didn't disappear. So it, it gives you that like feeling that you're like, oh my God, I have no money. But in reality, you do have money. It's just like on the accounts and this is what you're safe to spend. Like this is the money you're only allowed to spend. It's basically like, you have a financial advisor and he's like, this is all you get to spend on your money. Don't, don't do anything else. So it's pretty cool. It's, it's really nice. It's smart. Um, it, it prevents you from overspending. It, it, it's, it's honestly a really good app. Um, I love it. Um, I, I love the support team. I've lost my card a few times over the years. I've had simple, the support team's phenomenal. They are, they're so nice. They're fast. They're quick. They're understanding. They're really cool, honestly, and they're they're constantly making updates. So now you can you can make more edits. You can set up specific transfer schedules for specific funds and goals. So, for example, if you give your parents money, you can create an account in your bank account that says "Give to Mom and Dad," and they can they can send it. And you can give it a memo. You can add personal photos to each account. You can create schedules. Um, you can do so many cool things and like, like I'm telling you, they're, they're trying to stay up to date with a lot of these modern millennial changes. They're trying to make this more millennial. So now you can add like emojis, you can add like a bunch of things. And now they're, they have this thing called public goals, which is basically you're allowed to hashtag your goals now. And it basically adds it onto a pool of what's, what is the most common goal that simple bankers are, are saving up for. Um, and you can go to their website and it tells you like, hey, kids, so I'm on it right now, it says um, truck. Uh, this one says, uh, I guess they're saving up for a truck. This one says dino stompers. This is another one that says piano keyboard mount. I don't know what that is. Uh, this one says public pet care fund. This one says Spotify. So all you have to do is hashtag public and it shows up, trip to Hawaii. So you can see it's, it's honestly super cool. It's a good app. I love it to be honest with you. Um, I mean, 
I don't love it for the 1.90 API, which it says on their website, which I get 1.75, which isn't cool. Oh, I think it has to be over 2,000. Uh, I don't know what the thing is, but anyway. Um, yeah, so it's such a good app. I highly recommend you guys get it. If you have any questions, shoot in the comment section down below. Thank you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Till later. Till next time. I love you. Bye. Peace.